Hey everybody, it's Derek and welcome back to CRM Tip of the Day's Video Tips, your source for tips and step-by-step -step instruction on the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and finish up our series a little bit on deploying information with CRM using, you know, migration utility tool as well as using CRM package deployer. And in a previous video, we we talked to you through how to actually create the packages in Visual Studio. Now we want to talk a little bit more about some of your deployment options and actually physically packaging them together, putting them into an installation package, and then deploying them out into the environment that you want to work with. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. You you could do this using package deployer so you could actually create the installation package into a zip file extract it and then deploy it from that perspective or you could use PowerShell to actually deploy the information from there I want to focus a little bit on using the kind of packaging utility and packaging everything together so you can distribute it from that perspective so if you remember in our previous video, we actually used Visual Studio to create a CRM package where we included the solutions that we wanted to work with. We included the individual data files that we wanted to work with. We created kind of a wizard that walked us through what we wanted to call it. And so the information could be communicated back when we installed it. And then if I go back into my directory where that Visual Studio project was created, uh, which we called Tampa the Day Sample Package, you'll see that I have a couple of different areas of importance. The first one that I have is the package folder. This is what is going to contain all the individual elements that are ultimately going to transfer with this. So this is going to have my actual solution file that I want to work with, as well as my data file and then additional information that would be worked with this part of that information. So it's important that however you determine to deploy this, that this particular folder directory is accessible when it runs through package deployer. And then in the bin folder, I'll obviously have the DLL that was consumed when we built the project to deploy the information from there. Now, if I go back into my SDK folder, and I go into my tools area of my SDK folder, I'll see a package deployer folder. This has all the necessary information that would basically be needed to run the executable in order for this to deploy itself from a package perspective. So what you can do here is now you can kind of build the utility and it's going to be a combination of all three of those individual items. So it's going to be a folder that has all of the information for the package deployer along with the executable from this tools directory. Then it's going to be the package folder that has all of my package information, my solution files, my data files, and then as well as the DLL from the bin folder. So now I could come in here, I could create a new folder. I'm going to call this tip of the day sample package. Then I'm going to take all of the information that is in my package deployer folder from the SDK and I'm going to select it all and copy it. bring it into my folder and paste it. The next step to this is now to obviously take the package folder because the package folder has to be in there. Otherwise it won't know how to execute this when it comes time to deploy this individual package. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy my package folder and paste it into here. And then I'm going to go into my bin folder and my debug and I'm going to locate my DLL for my sample package and copy that and paste. Now at this point, I could just zip this up and I'm ready to go. And now anybody could go in and run through this. Now let's just assume that it has been zipped up and it's ready to be deployed. So now from a deployment perspective, I can right click on package deployer on the executable. I'm going to go ahead and run it with elevated permissions. Now my package deployer item will come up. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. I'm going to connect to my organization. So I'll go ahead and log into my organization. And now here's all that customizable stuff. So we'll, when we customize it, we customize the introduction screen. We customize the long name and the short name for the package. So it's very customizable to what we have from an application standpoint. It tells us that we're all set and ready to continue. So I can go ahead and hit next. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hit next again. It'll verify that all of the information is there. And then it will go ahead and once I hit next again, it'll deploy this into my environment. Now, if you are, you know, 
you, you're going to want to play with this a little bit. Obviously, you have some options when you are creating these packages to determine if you want it to be updating and if you want it to look for existing information. And if so, if you want to update that information, if you want the installation to fail. So there's some additional, you know, kind of advanced level situations that you can work with when you start deploying these. The other thing that I would definitely recommend, obviously, is before you do anything, bring it into like a testing environment or a dev environment first before you bring it into production to make sure your packages are going to deploy the way that you want. Now, if you're looking for a little bit more kind of finite control around individual situations, another option that you have is Windows PowerShell. And you could use PowerShell to actually connect to your CRM organization and then deploy the package from that situation and determine what version of solutions and items you're working with and then deploy information from there. And we'll include um, kind of a reference in the, in, the, in the item as well that directs you towards the MSDN article that or the TechNet article that shows you kind of how to do that. But hopefully you enjoyed our series on using uh, CRM configuration migration and package utilities and package deployer. Um, I want to say again for all of us here at CRM Tip of the Day, this has been Derek. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and have a good one.